Hi and welcome to our home theatre guide DVD tutorial. My name is David Wells and I'll be your guide through this sometimes confusing world of putting together your very own home theatre setup. And I guess the, probably the first hurdle I want you to get over is that you actually can do this. Just because all the geeks down at the, your local big box electronics store talk about running 1080p down HDMI with 7.1 surround sound, well, all that proves to me is that they're more concerned with showing how much they know rather than breaking it down into simple language so that the regular Joe can understand it. That's my passion. But know this, I am a geek. I've worked for years designing and installing major recording studios for artists that I've worked with, including Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, uh, Phil Collins, uh, Dinah Ross, and a whole bunch more. But here's the difference. I have always got a kick out of breaking down really complex stuff into easily understandable concepts. So you can do this stuff. I produce dozens of DVD tutorials on the operation of high-end stuff that you'd find in a recording studio, and I've I've just been hounded by enough people, enough friends of mine over the years, where I've designed their own home theatres just to kind of push me over the edge to finally produce this comprehensive DVD on how home theatre works and how you can put it all together. And the neat thing is this, you'll have pride of ownership when we finally get this together. It'll truly be your own home theatre. And think of how you better deal with anything that goes wrong. I know people who have to call in their installer at a hundred bucks a visit to solve problems. And the installer, more times than not, tells them their problem can only be solved by buying more equipment. No, no. Once we go through the experience of putting this all together, then you will be able to troubleshoot with a much greater level of understanding. So, here's what's on the DVD. We'll learn about what the makeup of home theatre is, what each component does, TVs and projectors, receivers, DVD players including the high def kind, speakers, media centres, gaming consoles, and most importantly, how to hook it all up so that it works seamlessly together under the control of a single remote. Imagine that, trading in your whole coffee table full of a half a dozen remotes for this guy here. When my family goes down to our home theater setup in my basement, my five-year-old can fire up the whole thing with just the press of a single button. That's the goal, to tame all of your different pieces of equipment so that you are in control and that movie nights can be all that you would want them to be. Now So let's start at the beginning. When did it become necessary to understand all of this stuff? Did your parents have to go through all of this drama? Well, probably not. Early on, you had your TV over here with rabbit ear antennas, which you just watched just TV on, maybe just a few channels. Over here, you might have had a hi-fi stereo. It played records and allowed you to listen to the radio. The two had nothing to do with each other. Then came the humble VCR. You plugged it into your TV and you could play back videotapes. Some intrepid types even connected their VCR's audio outputs to their stereo so they could hear their rented copy of Star Wars through their bigger speakers. Then laser discs came and DVDs and satellite dishes and cable boxes and gaming consoles, MP3 players, <laughs> internet streaming devices, and then people even started hooking up their computers to their home entertainment systems. Things have become a little bit more complicated the more we like to be entertained and frankly the more cool stuff that comes out. I'm in our home theatre set up here that looks just like it's just a big screen TV and some speakers but if we look over here in our cabinet there are quite a few parts to the equation. First we have the viewing experience. That will be a big screen plasma LCD or maybe some kind of rear projection TV. It might even be a projector with a screen. Then we have the central piece to our whole home theatre, the receiver. This is the grand central station to all our wiring. All cables make their way to it, routing signals to and from each component. Then we have all of the sources, such as the cable or satellite box, our DVD player, media center, mp3 player, gaming console, etc. These are called sources because our media programs come from them. 
a TV program from the satellite or cable box, a movie from the DVD player, a song or photo from the media player or MP3 player, or a game from the game console. Media stuff comes from them. They are the source of our entertainment. The signals go through the receiver and then passed on to where they finally light up your TV or projector and vision and fire up your speakers in sound. You'll hear me talk a lot about sources and signal flow in this DVD. It's really the only way to get it rock solid in your mind that stuff goes from here to here. Now here's a mini example here. I have one of these little iPod speakers in my office. This iPod is the source. That's where all the songs come out of, out of this little connector here. And then that goes into here, fires this guy up, and we hear our tunes. The source of the iPod, it flows to the speakers. Now once you understand that principle, then wiring becomes very, very easy. Now we're going to go through each of the following sections, breaking down each component or device in a typical home theater setup. We'll discuss what each component does, what variations are available on the market, the sweet spot or maximum amount I would recommend spending before you get into that snob territory we talked about before, that last 3% of, of a quality that you have to pay through the nose for. We'll also break down some of the technical jargon so that you can impress your friends and family. Let's go ahead and we'll start off with the TVs.